beatification. His Grace Most Reverend John Baptist Sadama will come to petition the delegate of the Holy Father to raise to the order of beatified Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Your Grace, you're most welcome. Most Reverend Father, the Church of God living in the Archdiocese of Gulu with the Institute of the Comboni Missionaries and the Comboni Missionary Sisters has humbly asked the Supreme Pontiff of wanting to enter among the number of the blessed the venerable servant of God, Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Postulator. Now the petition will be responded to. Postulator. Postulator. Now we need a postulator to come to read the biography. This beatification is the first of a Comboni missionary who accomplished in his life what he proclaimed with his lips. God is love, and I am his servant for the people who suffer. Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli combined faith and charity throughout his life. Without faith, a missionary has nothing to proclaim, but without charity, he can never proclaim Christ, the Savior of humanity. The priest and doctor Joseph Ambrosoli proclaimed Christ the Savior of body and souls, or rather, he took care of souls through caring for the physical ailments of their bodies. One of seven children, Joseph Ambrosoli was born on July 25th, 1923 in Ronago, in the province of Como, northern Italy, to Joseph Baptist Ambrosoli and Palmira Walli, and was baptized four days later in the local parish church on Sunday, 29th July. His education, took place in various academic institutions until he attended the University of Milan, where he was awarded a degree in medicine and surgery, and he undertook a course in tropical medicine and hygiene at the Institute of Tropical Medicine in London. At the age of 28, in October 1951, the young doctor, jo Joseph Ambrosoli, presented himself at the house of the Comboni missionaries in Como. At 32 years of age, he became a priest. He wrote on this day of his priest the ordination that he intended to be throughout his life a mirror whose true nature is to reflect on others the splendor of the divine love he had received. Priest and doctor, blessed Ambrosoli, had already chosen the vocation that would shape his entire life. Completely immersed in the love of God, he is every human, professional, and priestly attribute would reflect God's closeness to all people but especially to those in pain and suffering. 
That was exactly the meaning of words that he was fond of repeating when speaking of his missionary vocation as a doctor and priest. May they see Jesus in me. It is not a matter of doing things differently, but it is the way to deal with and to treat the ill and the sick. They must feel that the contract is truly fraternal because of the love of Christ. Only two months had passed since his ordination, and yet by the end of February 1956, Joseph was already in Calongo. Here with him, a great chapter of the Gospel of Charity begins. 31 years of missionary service spent in the shadow of this mountain and this church on the site of this hospital. In a short time, with the collaboration of some Comboni missionary priests and brothers and of some Comboni missionary sisters, Father Ambrosoli achieved the then almost unimaginable goals of establishing a functioning and a well-equipped hospital in Cologne and a school for midwives. A dream for many young women and a primary objective for the missionary work of the followers of Bishop St. Daniel Comboni, who always promoted the formation and preparation of local personnel. Young Ugandan women and men who could readily find a place in health units throughout Uganda and beyond due to the schools I regarded the reputation for midwifery training and for the Christian values they have received in this structure belonging to the church. Not only a midwifery school, however, was established, but also a hospital that will be made famous by the surgeon of God, blessed Joseph Ambrosoli, promoted the status of a woman in his midst, not only with the establishment of such men welcome structures, but much more with the care, respect, and indeed veneration in which he always held women, particularly for women who were pregnant in labor or during the period after their baby's birth. With the expansion of the hospital, the fame of the great doctor, the Ajuaco Madit, or Dr. Madit, of the Acholi people, spread far and wide. In Calong, the sea converged from many corners of Uganda and even from other countries. Many are those who return to their places of origin, healed in body and in spirit. Father Ambrosoli reacted with great detachment to such a claim and was always careful to emphasize that it was not his fame which should prevail, but rather the glory that was due to God. In one of his journals he wrote, to strive to seek in my work the glory of God and the good of souls, and at the same time to strive to be humble, dodging honors, and considering it right the success is always a grace from God. Indeed, Blessed Ambrosoli was the first to recognize that this work of God in Calong would not have been possible without the generous, enthusiastic, and the skilled participation of many women and men moved by the example of Jesus Christ or even by human solidarity. These are his many, many collaborators, the medical personnel and staff, 
the workers, the Comboni missionary sisters and brothers, and uh, his many benefactors, whose name shines in God's heart, and I would like to say, are indelibly imprinted on this spur of basalt rock that towers above all the hospital's many structures. Many doctors came to Cologne to help Father Ambrosoli, some on permanent basis, others for a month or so a year. The hospital was becoming ever larger and more complex. However, its stunning success was to maintain the complex machine of running the hospital as a family in which everyone was welcome and value as a co-worker and enabled to lend their skills for the good of all, the good of all. In 1980, the 10 ministers of internal affairs, after having been shown, shown uh, around Cologne Hospital, remarked, this is the only functioning hospital where you, we have in the country at the moment. People wondered how we manage all this, where he found the strength, bearing in mind that in that moment Uganda was going through one of the most turbulent periods of his history. The reason for such firmness, commitment, and availability as his own source in the prayer he used to raise in the very early hours of the morning and late in the night under a starry African sky. Here are his own words. We have to enter the circle of the Trinity and breathe with two lungs contact with the Lord in the Eucharist and through selfless service to the sick. So, for Father Ambrosoli, there were two altars in Calongo. The altar of the Eucharist and the operating table. Just as there are his two hands holding the host and ministering to a patient in need of care, with the same reverence and respect. After so much dedication and fatigue, in 1982, Father Joseph's health began to deteriorate. As if that wasn't enough, civil war was raging in Ancholi land. Kalongo was no longer a safe place. Despite this, he assisted everyone. The situation, however, worsened. To his fellow missionaries who were totally confused and in despair, the words of Father Jobes were heartening. Courage! This is the moment in which one must understand why we have come here. On February 13 came the forced evacuation of the mission and of the hospital of Calongo. It has been said that the blessed Joseph Ambrosoli died twice. First of heartbreak at the time of the evacuation of Calongo and for the great suffering he felt for the young women from St. Mary's Midwifery School. Although gravely ill, gravely ill, he arranged for these trainees midwives to complete their course in West Nile. His last great act of love. Then, on Friday, 27th of March, 1987, he fell asleep in the Lord, offering his body and soul to him, whispering, Lord, 
May your will always be done. At that moment, he fulfilled what he had sought throughout his whole life, to serve the sick with the spirit of serving his Lord and Master, Jesus Christ. I would like to conclude with the prophetic words pronounced on the 10th anniversary of his death by the late Bishop of Como in Italy, Monsignor Alessandro Maggiolini. Father Joseph Ambrosoli will not be just another Italian saint. He will be both an Italian and a Ugandan saint at the same time. A telling example of communion between two churches and two peoples where it was meant by God to blossom. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have heard the life biography of Father Dr. Giuseppe Ambrosoli, and now we continue with the ceremony. Let us all stand. By mandate of His Holiness, I read the apostolic letter with which the Supreme Pontiff has described it among the number of the blessed, the venerable Serbaton God, Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Littere apostolice, nos Vota fratris nostri Ioannis Baptiste Odama, archiepiscopi metropolite guluensis, nec non plurimorum aliorum fratrum in episcopatu, multorumque Christi Fidelium explentes, de dicasteri de causis sanctorum consulto, autoritate nostra apostolica facultatem facimus, Ut venerabilis servus Dei, Iosefus Ambrosoli, Congregationis Missionariorum Comboniariorum Cordis Jesu, Presbiter Professus, Medicus et Sacerdos, qui sicut bonus Samaritanus in defesse proximus Proximum sese e genis fecit, adeorum corporis et anime vulnera curanda. Beati nomine, in posterum appelletur, atque dia due, duode trigesima mensis iuli, quotannis in locis et modis iure statutis celebrari possit. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Datum Rome, Laterani, die Septimo, mensis Octobris, in memoria Beate Maria Virginis a Rosario, anno Domini, bis millesimo, vicesimo, secundo, pontificatus nostri decimo, Franciscus. Waraga Cello, Archbishop Obequano, Ileb Mono. Cado Kikwan, Ileb Mono, Chidon Wawero, Amen. Noa Jolo, Kit Mitch, my Ecclesia, me or Botwa. The decree of the proclamation is now going to be read in English. Apostolic letter. 
accepting the wish of our brother, John Baptist Odama, Metropolitan Archbishop of Gulu, of many brothers in the Episcopate, and of a great many faithful, having obtained the opinion of the dicastery for the cause of saints, with our apostolic authority, we grant that the venerable servant of God, Giuseppe Ambrosoli, professed priest of the Congregation of the Comboni Missionaries of the Heart of Jesus, doctor and a priest, who, as a good Samaritan, tirelessly made himself close to the needy to heal their wounds of body and soul. May he henceforth be called blessed and be celebrated every year on 28th of July in the places and according to the rules established by law. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Just a moment. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. letter was granted at Rome at the Lateran on the 7th of October this year. Memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary of the Rosary in the year of the, our Lord 2022 the 10th of our pontificate signed by Pope Francis. <clears throat> With that now, we shall go to the unveiling of the image of Blessed Ambrosoli. Ki kwachman ki michma papa miniwa kombedi don ki biyabo chal pa lagum kom ambrosoli no wa wer we me yom twin mana e kare ma go ke jira o kut bila ki yom twin ma dira de da pi en roba o mi ki nwa dano ma leng
sisters who don't have bad pain, who are very much. Let's remain standing so that the relics is being brought. Let's remain standing. We be ruke yom twin kere cha man maki bikelo kome me mi waro dog me lega kare ke kare we go donye kin jo maleng. Ya 
Chenda Munya, Katanyeze Nya Farmer Radio Sapiencia, Akasela Kano, uh, Tuli Mu Procession, Oba, Enyiri, Ezava Yimbi, Omuli Abakwa, Yang, Abawe Kerebi Sigala, Mich Sigali Chirete Dua, Ku Alta, Liwano Wetuli, Mchisawe, Mchivangirize, Omukolo Wukole Dua, Goku Langirida, Dr. Ambrose, Lingo Mwesi, Mi. Ebi sosewo, omukulu haiti wa postoleta, mboyo ye mkulu, ya gobe nilabio na, noku wandike palua, ya sinzi ilu wako papo kakasabio na, ya soso kusoma obulamu, nebi afayo, bia Dr. Ambrosoli, atolu vanyuma, bino, webiwe dene webiwebwa, obechi wandike chone chikuangibwa, mbaka wa papa, Saba Sumba Luigi Bianco, akule mbede mwachitambio cha misa. Elono na agatako ebalua, e, ya wandiki duwa papa ye njini, nge kakasa, Dr. Ambrosoli, okubo mwesi imi, nga ono ajisomera, Saba Sumba wesa za kule, elie gulu, Johnny Baptist Yodama. Kubango ono mwesi imi, kati, ne wangubade wa kuangali ya itale, mwesi imi uonzalo ya itale, Nenga mwesi mi wa wakristu wono wa wakatuli chimonsi wona Na yenga echi nyusichiteke wa kukwanga java atene wano wa yafira Mu Uganda ne jazarwa mu Italy So eno jiakole le mirimu Mwabaka wa papa ebalue na vada jisomu kumu kakasa Kakasa achibishopu, uh, achibishopu odama nti papa ya kakasiza Nti omukulu ambrosoli ya kakasi duwa mulugu duwa besi Bata dewe chifana nyi echenja ule chikakasa emirimu jengabo jali Kupanga yalia janjaba elia cheba vikudoe Machida ganga akute abana na abantu wa janjaba Chila vwaburu unji Jukida ntino evisigalabi evirimu kwanga linelia Uganda E, laka no kamuku utundu wakirizi duwa loma okujibwa yo katiche chisigala chevaleta wetu ogerera bachitute wagulu kwa altari e, chifochinene nyo awateke kedwe mikolo chiringa mbisa wengabi satu wabina na yenga wana wateke kedwe wabulunji wetisinze laka tokuto sako o mkolo guno gulu na kolu waliru Ngabu ulire norulimi, oluko zesewa, oluzungu, ate norwayo, olucholi. Katia definite so olu kudiza hako mluganda. Chichitamilo chafecha mese chikenda maso, olunaku olualero. Erango kusinzi la kuchuwandi kocha tufunye. Mulukumi muru enda muche enda mumu enda enteka teka. Ezokula banga okumuno nyeleza kukutandika wekwa atandikila. Neva sava, ntomuti ye naba afunye cha magero, achiwe yo. Kadade cha magero chune chijia ni chivao mkumi bili mkumi neta anu. Nacho mchale ya ndiva dafu denga, lindi doku zara, nevega idambro soli na uona. Kati papa na asala uo, urunako lualero ala angirirwe, mulubu duwabe simi. Kati abe simi ya bali musaza linekuru elie gulu, bali basatu, laudo kero negildo ilua, Abobe baso kabali wa katechists Ate kati netufuna ni Dr. Ambrosoli Guzepe Oba Joseph Olunaku Oluwalero Chenda mwenye katanyeze nyafama Redi Sapiencia Nkuluze ya magezi Embele chali nunji Akasana kaa kilida sinyo Kwa mkule mbeze wakwanga yori kakuta mseveni Na ye Asubiro kubela uta natuka Na yenga embera yona Era ganti na jakubaja Avele uku Era ya wayo Aka umbi kalamba no kusoba Okusobo lukula antio mkolo guno kutekeke kwa bulu unji Okusinzi la kusaba sumba Uwesa zali na kure liye gulu John Baptist Yodama Nga kwa ya tegeza Ere sentezo Nga baga ambazi jagenda Okuzimbe chikomero kwe tolole dua Lidoli ya Dr. Ambrosoli edidi wane e, kalong ate ne walu wane tende kero liyaba sao ngojeke dua lido walu wane tende kero liyaba sao 
Nebi febirala, ebi yamba, abantu, wona. Now we want to express our gratitude to the Holy Father. And now I invite His Grace and the following people to come. The Superior General of the Combodi Missionary, fathers and brothers and sisters. The Mother General of the Little Sisters of Mary Immaculate of Gulu. Lucia Lomakol, whom God gave that miracle. Dr. Eric Domini, who gave the image and asked Lomakol to pray. Then the parish priest of Kalongo, the parish representing Ronago, and a lay person from Ronago to come forward so that they can express to the Holy Father granting this special ceremony. Dr. Derek. The church that is in the Archdiocese of Gulu and in the Diocese of Como, with the Superior General of the Institute of the Comboni Missionaries, the Superior General of the Comboni Missionary Sisters, the Superior General of the Little Sisters of Mary Immaculate of Gulu, Mrs. Lucia Lumokol the mother Carmel John, who was cured, and Dr. Eric Domini, the gynecologist, who urged the nurses present there to invoke Venerable Giuseppe Ambrosoli, a representative of the medical staff of the hospital and the school of obstetrics, a representative of the people of Kalongo, with their parish priests are all devoutly grateful to the successor of the apostolic Peter, successor of the apostle Peter, and give thanks to the Father of Jesus Christ and our Father, to the God three times holy, and raise the hymn of praise for having proclaimed Blessed, the venerable servant of God, Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Let's clap. After that, we shall now have the glory. Oh. 
Almighty, heaven-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe. Grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Let us be seated and listen to the word of God meditatively as being proclaimed. Obedu wano pin, wawinyo lok parva, obedu ke waro, donkoni ikine kacha me poin pa lapiscopi mautelo alega, la ditlo bio, walego ni dano pego interrupting lega kibed mot kibed la ling. A reading from the second book of Samuel. In those days, all the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Behold, we are your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was king over us, it was you who led out and brought in Israel. And the Lord said to you, you shall be shepherd of my people Israel and shall be prince over Israel. So all the elders of Israel came to the king at Hebron, and King David made a covenant with them there before the Lord. And they anointed David king over Israel. Apa kingin Toshunun ngatekerin dadang Ebron neni adaudi temasi kira ikira iswa akuan kon ka ngokot kon ani paran eringa saul ikipukat iswa iyong ibu torik ngajorei ang israel ido emam itunganan ibu iyong toshaka Abu Ekapolon Tema Nenikon. Iyong Iruwor Ekeyokon Angitungwakang Angisirael. Iyong Iruwor Ekepukan Kesh. Angun Toshunun Nikasiko Aloisirael Dadang Ebron. Neni Adaudi Ido Toshamunos Erosit Daudi Ka Ikes Alo Eburon Alo Kingaren Ekapolon Tosaut Nai Ikes Daudi Kituruosi Erosit A Israel Dadang Verbum Domini.
megina kilo megina uporu ba won ki yom twin pileno luwa karibe ki jomaleng ike meta eno larwa ki muru oterwa ike pawode ma en mar mukaro ma larwa okwanyo balwa duchu Christo en chal manen parba ma penen en latin kayone matie ono jemi mukene duju peya ki chweyogi pien ruba o chwe kwere gien duchu matie polo ki mai wi lobo gien duchu manen ki ma penen jo malaika ki lo diro pa malaika Ruba ochwe yugin duju kwede wapi en bene. Kristo tie wachon, mapin put peo chake. Gin duju matie, gichung kaka gi pi en. Luake, ni eklesia, obedo kome ma ena ye wie. Kid machalo ena ya chaki, ena ye ma kwa chikin jomuto. Wek en uben ma chel ikin jami duchu. Pieru ba wono miro nigin duchu ma en tie kwede obedi kom wode. Ruba ye me yubu ping duju ma yamo bale wero dok chen bore. Kitit pa wode. Gien duchu matie ipolo ki mai lobo gume dori ki ruba pito pa wode ikom yataria. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Colossians, chapter 1, verses 12 to 20. Brethren, we give thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or authorities. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning the firstborn from the dead, that is everything, he might be preeminent. For in him, all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Verbum Domini Let us turn for the gospel. What Chua Chua Major Evangelic.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, the rulers scoffed at Jesus, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him vinegar and saying, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him. This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation, and we indeed justly? For we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, Remember me when you come in your kingly power. And he said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Ikare maja, dana ma pol guchun kaneno. Walo loj bene, gubero kanyero yesu, kanyero chaj, Giwajo kwere ni. Eno lara jomu kene. Kwang dong o lara ke kene. Ka ena ye kristo. Ngat maro ba o yero. A che kere matye kenyo bene gunyware. Gumye kon vini ma wach. Giwajo kwere ni. Ka ini ruot palo yuda. Lara ke keni. I come yataria, kawi yesu, ono tie church money, make a choyo ki lep Greek, Latin, ki ebrei ni, man aye ruot palo yuda. La bada chel, make gore kom yataria, odange iwe yesu ni, pe ina ye kristo, la in wa wan bene, Ento la wara mo kene ni o dae wye ni. In pe il wara ba kare matiri mo. Kune nena ni in ki komi bene itye te chan a chel. Wan ki foro waka kare. Watye kato pi balwa. Ento la chone pe o timu bal mo. Endong o wajo bor yeso ni. Popira kai bi o ike meri. Yeso odwakane. Ada. Awache nitin. Wawi bero kweri. Ipolo. The gospel of the Lord. Bedi la telega bimine wa mokicha kibuk paruba wa choya ria wa pchuo pura chua. Bedu mordong 
Wakoro Chame Point, Lapiscope Bimio Point, Bodwa. Let us be seated for the homily in silence and reverence so that the word of God is broken to us for our nourishment. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today is the last Sunday of the liturgical year. It is the solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe, and we have the great joy to honor the new blessed Joseph Ambrosoli. I extend my heartfelt greetings to all the faithful present here, the Archdiocese of Gulu and his Archbishop, John Baptist Odama, and to the other brother bishops, to the clergy, the religious men and women, to the Comboni missionaries of the heart of Jesus with their general superior, Father Tesfaye Tadesser. In a special way, I would like to greet also the Diocese of Como with his bishop, Cardinal Oscar Cantoni, and the Ambrosoli family. I greet, I greet also the civil authorities and the President of the Republic of Uganda. The feast of Christ the King and the example of our blessed Joseph Ambrosoli offer us some inspirations for our Christian life. When proclaimed Jesus as a king, it is necessary to explain which kind of king he is. The kingly dimension of Christ is so important to evangelist Luke that it appears from the beginning to the end of Jesus' earthly life and accompanies his entire ministry. The gospel now proclaimed presents Jesus on the cross. It appears without power as defined it by the word or by human glory. His throne is the cross. Jesus' reign is truly not of this world. His eternal and universal kingdom is a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. The leaders of the people, the soldiers, and a criminal mock Jesus and provoke him in the same way. Save yourself. They ask Jesus not to accomplish the mission given to him by the Father, but to promote himself to come down from the cross and destroy his enemies. In the beginning of his public ministry, the devil tempted Jesus to give up reigning as God wills and instead to reign according to the world's ways. Pope Francis said, this temptation is a direct attack on love. Save yourself, no others but yourself. Claim triumph for yourself with your power with your glory, with your victory. It is the most terrible temptation, the first and the last of the gospel. He continues rather to love, he forgives, he lives this moment of trial according to the Father's will, certain that love will be fruit. 
Jesus is a king who comes to save. He told to the so-called good thief on the cross near him, today you will be with me in paradise. The first reading narrates the consecration of David as king of Israel. His kingdom became the symbol of a kingdom of peace and justice that God would one day establish on earth. Many people in Israel expected that the Messiah will re-establish the kingdom of David. Also, the apostles, just the day of the ascension, asked him, Lord, are you at this time to restore the kingdom of Israel? But some people, the prophets, the humble and poor of spirit, were thinking that the way of intervention of God will be very different from this idea of power and dominion. In the second reading, St. Paul teaches that the Father has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we find redemption and the forgiveness of sins. Jesus is the king of the universe will the sole power of love, because God is love. The Christians are invited to personally accept Jesus as the Lord of their lives and also to follow his way of being king and to fix the gaze on the crucified one and to become ever more faithful to him. It is not enough to confess that Jesus is the king of the universe because he desires to be united with us and to become the Lord of our hearts. We are called to follow his example of love, humility, donation until the passion and death at the resurrection for the salvation of all. <coughs> the new blessed offers a great example of a person who did not look to his own interest, but his life was completely and tireless giving for the healing of wounds and bodies and souls of the needy as a priest and a doctor. The apostolic letter of Pope Francis presents him as a good Samaritan. We are invited to consider the heroic virtues of the new blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli, faith, hope, charity, humility, goodness, patience, generosity, spirit of service, sense of duty, availability. According to all the people who knew him, he was extraordinarily humble. He accomplished in his life what he proclaimed with his lips. God is love and I am his servant for the people who suffer. He, he combined faith and charity throughout his life and he took care of souls to caring of the physical ailments of the body, bodies. He wrote on the day of his priestly ordination that he intended to be throughout his life a mirror both to nature is to reflect on others the splendor of the divine light he had received. 
completely immersed in the love of God, his every human, professional, and priestly attribute would reflect God's closeness to all people, but especially to those in pain and suffering. Only two months had passed since his ordination, and yet by the end of February 1956, Giuseppe was already in Calongo. Here with him, a great chapter of the Gospel of Charity begins, 31 years of missionary service spent in the shadows of this mountain and this church on the side of this hospital. In Kalongo, the sick converged from many corners of Uganda and even from other countries. Many are those who returned to their places to, of origin, healed in their bodies and in their spirits. Father Ambrosoli was famous as doctor, but he reacted with great detachment to such a claim and was always careful to emphasize that it is not his fame which should prevail, but rather the glory that was due to God. He, he wrote to strive to seek in my work the glory of God and the good of souls, and at the same time to strive to be humble, dodging honor, and consider it, it right that success is always a grace from God. Indeed, Blessed Ambrosoli was the first to recognize that the great achievements His own words. We have to enter the circle of the Trinity and breath with two lungs, contact with the Lord in the Eucharist, and through selfless service to the sick. So, for Father Ambrosoli, there were two altars in Calongo the altar of the Eucharist and the operating table. Just as there are his two ends holding the host and ministering to a patient in need of care with the same reverence and respect. With his proverbial smile on his lips, he was always serene in his attitude and rich of Christian hope also in the troubles. He suffered personal health problems and he faced many difficulties and challenges in accomplish his mission. After so much dedication and fatigue, in 1982, Father Giuseppe's health began to deteriorate. When a violent armed conflict was raging in the Acholi land, he assisted everyone. When he arrived the order to leave the mission and abandon the hospital, his words to his fellow missionaries were heartening. Courage, this is the moment in which one must understand why we are come here. On Friday, 27th of March, 1987, he fell asleep in the Lord, offering his body and soul to him whispering, Lord, may your will, be al will always be done. The hospital of Calongo and the school of midwives was his life, and they are 
his monument and legacy. This legacy has to continue and also grow with the collaboration of all. The solemnity of Christ the King is also the celebration of the World De Youth Day in the local churches throughout the world. The theme of the message of the Holy Father for this year is Mary arose and went with Harry. The youth can find an extraordinary model in the blessed Giuseppe. As we honor blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli, we turn our hearts to Jesus Christ, King of the universe, as we acclaim him as our Lord and Savior. Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli, pray for us. Amen. We are we are point my keyboard that a leg of my dear. Omega kilo megina e Christo. Tin Dominica me a girki me mwarafa ecclesia. Ma wakweri ye Dominica pag ruot wa Jesu Christo. Ruot melo bokolo. Tin wamio yom twin ki war madid mada pi lagum kom. Joseph Ambrosoli. Achuano mor madit maaki kurtuna ki kome. Bor luye duju magitikan. Bor la dit archbishop John Baptist Odama. Ma entie la kwad madit magulu archdiocese. But umegine lo piscopi duju magitikan padi lodini chokimon lomdul me komboni missionaries me aduno maleng pa Jesu Christo ladit mamegi padre tesfaye tadese kidong makaro duju amiro chualo moto but Bishop Cardinal Oscar Cantoni, my archdiocese, me como, kidong amoro tutuan, lupayo pa Dr. Ambrosoli, ke ludiro, lutidmiri, lutui wibie, me Uganda, Chimakaro, President, me Uganda, La did lobo. Nia Martini, Dominica, me Christ the King, Parwadwa Jesu Christo, Nyotiwa Gien Mapiere Tech, Dr. Ambrosoli, Malagumkom, Machado, Ngat Mamiro Ilchinwa Malo, Ikuawa, Machado, Luye, Lo Christo. Evangeli, mawan wa winyo tin. Tie kanyoro kama nei, Yesu Christo, machalo ruot iwi ataria. Nenchalo, ngat mape kikero, ikir padano, dakdeyo peikome. Ikir padano, yada, Jesu Christo, kene ono pere, watere ono bene pere. Ento, en kene, aye, mekelo, ada, kikuo. Doke, makelo, kuo maleng, kigrasia, ngon mati, ma, kikuj. Lutera paluak, a cekere, kachien, 
kila bala chien maki guru Yesu Kristo kwede gubero kangale magi chai dogu penyo Yesu ni miro ukerde kome kekene ukato kwaro lo pin kiwi ataria wek en uban Terre par le monde Il y a dans Jésus Christ, il y a ce qui m'a dit qu'il y a une loi. Et nous avons un thème à thème, mais dit, je peux voir ça. Je peux dire, je peux dire, à rien, il y a un miri par le bain. Il y a un miri par le bain. Donc, il y a un miri par le bain. Francis Wadu Kwere, Iwara Gane, Man Ubero, Atema Tema Madit, Kilwen, Ikom Tero, Kideo Paroban, Mamir Yesu Christo, Uken, Yesu Christo, Eno Biro, Machado Ruot, Dog Ruarada, Malaro dano. Iwi ataria. Eno nyuro kama nai. Bol la kuoma ngor pibane. Ni ada. En rot malaro dano. Uwea waju bora kama nai ni. Tina tina. Wan waberu kweri. Ideo mepolo. Ikwan mea chien. Wan wawinyo. Lok ikom. Kir maki wiyeru kwere, da wudi, wero be ruot pa lu yuda, jo Israel. Man tiye la nyot, madit ikom, ke kitela, pa Yesu Christo, ke paruban, me kuch, king on mati, iwi lobo duju. Dano ma pon, go bero katamoni, en Yesu Christo, Uno bibino kamio ke manyen ikirpa da wudi kikome. Ento ke pa Yesu Kristo no pat. Dano gupenyo, magi wajo di. Mana yedu kare mwono muromo. Medwa ko ke pa da wudi. Che uno peyati. Ikwan maya rio. Paolo maleng. Kuonyo wa. Lok ma pire tek ni roba wan u bino kalaro wan ki i loch me chol pin dok me kwanyo wa wako me chero i ke me ta pa wode me amara. Ma i Yesu Christo wan wano lare me adan weko ban Lord, I come, ban Yesu, and I ye rot me loba dan. Dok en tie ki tero, ma miera tira, and I ye ni tero me ma. Lo Christo, lo ye duji kom Christo, ki lo wan me bedo chok. Ki Yesu Kristo, dok me kwanyo, yo ma Kristo, unyoro borwa, me aloba, ma wachiro wangwa, ikom en Kristo, iwi ataria, ma ena ye, ruot me lobo kolo. Lagum ko manyen, matin wan wakwero ni, ki ino ma lo borwa, wero nyot, borwa kama nai, Kuo mati, me mine la bon olo, me chiang red, me kom, ki me chwin, kir ma eno timo. Machado dakta, iwara gane, Papa Francis, nyuro la gumko man manyen, machado la samaria, mabe. Miro wakwany, Kirt pa la gum kom Ambrozoli Giuseppe. 
Bome ye ma tut. Gen ma pe yenga tata. Kwome ma mutum. Bwone atira tira. Take it school. Me ponyo. Lodero. Me chiolo. Tie kanyoro kamal neng. Kwo palagum kom ambrozoli. Kirma en unok tie kwede ki kome. Dongir ma mietre. Ena yemen enoni. Ribe nyuaro tich. Uberu tie pedano duju. Wek la kir deyo me kwo man. Ume de penara. Dominica man. Pa Jesu Kristo ruad, bene i Eklizia Katolika kolo e wilobo, ubero nino melega ka tjen ki bulo. Ubero nino pa bulo ki kome. Pa papa, tje i mwagani ni, Maria, oa amalo, tjio tjero yoad. Bulo mero go kwany la nen me awura pa la gumkom Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Wamiya waro kideo bot la gumkom Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Wa ilo chinywa bot Jesu Christo ruot me lobokolo Dark Ben wa yuero pire, machalo, ruadwa, kilalawa. Lagumkom, Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Lek P1, Amen. Wabero dong la ling, walore kom lok parwa. Chinge, wabi waja waja, lega meye. Brothers and sisters, in obedience to the word of God, we renew the faith we received on the day of our baptism, committing ourselves to love God and our brothers and sisters in communion with the entire Catholic Church. I believe in one God, the Father. Brothers and sisters, let us raise with confidence our supplication to Christ, King of the universe, allowing ourselves to be inspired by the charity that shines in the example of blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli.
those who have their offertories, please, you can slowly give them out as we offer our prayers to God. We pray for Pope Francis and the Universal Church, for the Apostolic Nuncio, Luigi Bianco, for bishops, John Baptist Odama, and Cardinal Oscar Cantoni, and the local churches of Gulu and Como, for the Komboni missionaries and the Komboni missionary sisters, for the little sisters of Mary Immaculate of Gulu, and for all consecrated men and women. We invoke God, dispenser of all charisms and ministries. Lord, hear us. For the government of Uganda, for all authorities and public institutions, for our cities, towns, villages, and their inhabitants, we implore God who protects everyone. Lord, hear us. Ambrosoli family, alive or dead, for having given to the Lord and to the Acholi people, Father Ambrosoli, that time I did, with a good heart and a pure spirit, we, in, we implore God, the source of all blessings, Lord, hear us. especially those who are hospitalized, for those wounded in their bodies and in their hearts, we implore God, the Father of all consolation. Lord, hear us. For those who care for the poor and the weak, for those who promote the voluntary sector and the culture of solidarity, for those who have asked us to remember them to the Lord, we implore God to help the poor. Lord, hear us. for vocations to priesthood, consecrated life, and holy marriage. We implore the Lord to give to young people a spirit of fortitude and of service to commit themselves to work for the church and for the society. Lord, hear us. eternal rest of our departed brothers and sisters, 
especially those who've died through violence and wars. We invoke the God of life. Lord, hear us. charity of the priest Blessed Joseph caused the church's mission of caring for the most needy to shine forth. Grant to his intercession and example that bearing witness to the gospel of salvation, we may become instruments of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us be seated. Jo mago bichoro tiewa bibeo nates maguru veil salo sisters ge ke bomba blue dulme ario o bibera lumina eno lutiano kwan machon me kalo midwifri maguru bongi pa sisters mano go o irwom pa nases ilevel enoni kidong jo me adek bibero montua magitiki ribon manyuru ni gen mierogo gam tieni Pay me, dear, bonnet, mamire, pay me. It's time for offertory. Three groups are going to collect our offertory. The nurses, the student nurses with veils, alumni, sister, and montua with ribbon. Let us offer to God what he has given us. Come, 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 come
we bring to the altar bread and wine that will become the body and the blood of Christ for our physical and spiritual nourishment. We offer also the gifts that God has given us for without God we can offer nothing. Quiero venir mi chico matino tiene un maroba mi obotwa cono wangeoni raboruba wan pewa no mo ti mungin mo God has given us this gift but the most important gift that God has given us is the gift of himself in the form of bread and wine Mich ma diet ma roba miwa ena ye mich me kome ke kome kire mone chalo mat dok cham magwa ko tibua
Shiboria, please come forward. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that it may bring unity and peace to the world. And through the intercession of Blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli, confirm us in our generous, generous dedication to you and to our brothers and sisters, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ with the oil of gladness as eternal priest and king of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule. He might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and the life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, 
a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, may you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, this holy and ambitious sacrifice with peace to guard, unite, and govern her to bow to the whole world together with your servant Francis, our Pope, my brother John Baptist, the Bishop of this church, and me, your unworthy servant, and all those who, holding to the truth, and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of faith, health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God, 
and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, you are blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, gracefully accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, under our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve these offerings in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of our most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with haze raised it to heaven. To you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was handed, he took the chalice, his precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be proud for you and for many, for give forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. <laughs> the mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion and resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this post victim, the holy bread and eternal light in the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who brought this participation on the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with heavy grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith 
and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in the fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Saint Victor, Saint Bondio, the martyrs of Uganda, blessed Daudi and Gildo, blessed Giuseppe, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. To whom we, you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with light, bless them and bestow them upon us. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and forming by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Gracefully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We don't Let's shake our hands. We just wave to each other the sign of peace.
behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. For our communion, those who are prepared will receive. There will be priests coming where you are. You don't need to move. They will come, and you will see them come right now. Oh, may you you be seated now. May we pray the sacrament of the Eucharist. You will come out here. You will say that you will be able to pray for all of you. Uwar unung dano kama giti ye kuti don kit mano unero bekere uku kum Kristo kikama unuti ye ye dusasero tima Paul ripeke Kristo inianoman mini wa gracia madir atira wera one bene wa bedo chalo lagum kum ambrosori luwe. Wabuero we meo karestia.
let us all stand for the Thanksgiving song.
Let us now recollect ourselves, having thanked God. Let us have a minute of silence before we move to the next. Obedo la ling, waluodo ikom sacramento, mawano ikuawa. Let us now stand. Let us pray. Lord, you give us Christ, the King of all creation, as food for everlasting life. Help us to live by his gospel bring us to the joy to his kingdom and help us to imitate the example of blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli who worked tirelessly for the good of your people. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's be seated. The next function is a concluding word of gratitude led by his grace our Archbishop, again, the Comboni missionaries, fathers and brothers, Superior General, and the Delegated Mother General of the Comboni Sisters, Little Sisters of Mary Maclet of Gulu, and a relative of Blessed Ambrosoli. May they come forward, please. Our main celebrant, co-celebrant, <laughs> fellow brothers and sisters, the lady. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, with all the ministers, all the various branches of the government, the members of the parliament, all invited from near and afar especially foot pilgrims, all parents, with the children, those often I call Bulu and Nginingini, the children in the hands of their mothers and the babies in the wombs. We are here to present a vote of thanks. First, to God. Second, to His Holiness, the Pope. Pope Francis, represented here by his delegate, 
the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda. To our President for honoring this occasion by his presence. All the ministers, all the dignitaries, especially this needs to be mentioned, the Chief Justice of Uganda, all the clergy, the religious, and our friends from outside you. The choir, the choir. The security, the altar servers, gifts, we are very grateful to you for honoring and being present on this occasion. Blessed Father Dr. Ambrosoli is being enlisted among the saints in heaven. He is our representative now. When we have needs, we go through him, say, Ambrosoli, we know you. You are a part of us. You are our flesh. Why don't you plead to the Almighty for our needs? For example, right now Uganda is battling with a terrible virus called Ebola. Dr. Ambrosoli, blessed, will this defeat you to ask the Lord to say, Ebola, stop? so that the people of Uganda are healthy and they move freely. Let also COVID-19 disappear in Uganda. We also extend to you our prayer, plead, please, for the war that is going on between Ukraine and Russia. Those are our brothers and sisters. They're of your flesh and your blood too. You can plead to God to say, hey, hey, you are my image. Why do you fight? Stop. God can do that as you are very near to him to say those words. For the rest, fellow brothers and sisters who have come to Glorify God on the day of the Christ the King and also to honor our brother, blessed Father, Dr. Ambrosoli. May you have a very peaceful end of the year 2022 and enter the year 2023 safely. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go, we'll go back. We'll go back. We'll come back. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Your Grace. Right now, what follows is we are going to have the final blessing. After the final blessing, Two exercises will take place. There will be introduction of the bishops who have come to celebrate with us, including bishop-elect. And after that, we shall hear a few words from people who are to speak. There are not very many, so we will not stay long. And once it's finished, concluded by His Excellency, then that will conclude.
our session today. I hand now to my colleague, Father Paul Rome. Let us stand for the final blessing. Wa ayumalo pigamo mukicha mea gike. As representative of His Holiness Pope Francis, it is my honor and pleasure to transmit to all of you his apostolic blessing, his pledge of abundant graces. The Lord be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Before Jesus Christ, is Christ. Praise be Jesus Christ. Sia laudato Jesus Christ. Eccellenza, grazie. Grazie di cuore per essere celebrati. Siamo contenti che uno di noi, un esempio grande, sta davanti al Signore. Grazie mille per questa celebrazione. O poi Matek, non si ho mai detto che il mio man è un mio uno può dire non si ho mai detto che il lega man. Un mini uomo che ci ha mai detto, ma ci ha detto che il papà è chi è nuovo. Thank you very much, the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda, representing the Pope in this celebration. Let us give him again a mighty eclat. With the Nuncio, we have had some bishops who have been present with us. And the first one is Won Gang. Archbishop John Baptist Odama. Your Grace, thank you very much. Thanks to His Grace John Baptist Odama, who has been very closely monitoring this celebration until today. Thank you, Your Grace. We have the Bishop of uh, Arua, Right Reverend Savino Chano Dore. Welcome home. We have Bishop Damiano, Bishop of Moroto. Bishop, welcome. We have Bishop Filippi, Emeritus Mekotiro, Bishop of Oemater. We have Bishop Sanctus Uanok, Bishop Meliera. Bishop, thank you for coming home. We take a bishop, Wauraj, Min Navy. Bishop, Opoe. We have also bishop elect, Bishop of Cotido, Bishop Dominic, you're welcome. 
Bishop Mekotido. Dominic Ebu Ere, Bishop Mekotido, Maputi Yera Yera. Pia Kewiro, Kiluani Bishop Ayera. Bishop elect. Watiki Monsignor uh, Kauta, Secretary General of the Episcopal Conference of Uganda. Bishop Kauta, eh, no, Monsignor Kayota Wapoy, Dogo Chema, no. Thank you, Monsignor Kauta. We have the Monsignor representing various uh, bishops here. If you are a Monsignor, we welcome you and thank you very much. I'm not going to mention your names now. And all our priests, thank you for gracing this uh, occasion. Please, please stand up. What are you doing? Wah malo pati. Dano miro ne nu u una yelo pok sacramento dog miro dog maleng chalam brusoli bene. Let us let us give a mighty clap to our priests. I can give you a little dikon, dikon wapoyo, dikon ke wiro ke mekonyo lupiscope kilo sachero, dikon wapoyo. Thank you, dikons. We also want to acknowledge uh, the presence of the religious and their superior generals. I'm not going to list all the religious around. Please, sisters, please stand up and we acknowledge your presence. They are also religious brothers. We thank you very much. And their superiors, brothers, thank you very much. And all of you, the faithful of Christ, we acknowledge your presence. The other political dignitaries will be acknowledged by those who are supposed to acknowledge them. But there is one thing that we are not going to postpone. We need also to acknowledge the presence of His Excellency Yuweri Kaguta Museveni, the President of the Republic of Uganda. Your Excellency, thank you for being present in this occasion. Don't be a wamiro jolly kinwa bishops mapat pat magu a ki idini mukene no church me Uganda keep bishops mapapat when kamoti ye oa we nwa o jolu wa poe matek Don't be a miro twalo lok o chat ma bo to twan we don't want to prolong this moment. We want to thank everyone. In fact, we should not be thanked for coming to pray, but we do it for formality that we thank you for your presence. But your presence is for your own good. So thank yourself. And don't say I was not thanked. Doc Chuli Pierre. So the way, what for? Kono Doc Maduan Urue, Tino Pepe, what for him at that? Mega don't get Kakan, don't what don't you, he look Machego Chego. Professor Calisto will help us in this matter. May I now invite the Vicar General, Monsignor Matthew Dong, to come on behalf of the organizing team to speak. Before Jesus Christ, before Jesus Christ, our main.
main celebrant His Excellency the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda, Luisi Bianco. Our chief guest, His Excellency Yoweri Kaguta, President of the Republic of Uganda. His Grace, Dr. John Baptist Sudama, as Bishop of Gulu. All the bishops present, my brothers, the priests, religious men and women of consecrated life, the dignitaries in your respective capacities, all the pilgrims, all the pilgrims who have come for this important occasion. I stand here on behalf of the Central Organizing Committee who was charged by His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. John Baptist Odama, to plan to organize this special day. My message to you today is found on the magazine God's Suffering, God's Servant to the Suffering People on page 22 so that I don't take much time on this. However, let me just say this. The success of this day is due to the prayers financial and material support from all people of goodwill. In a very special way, I would like to thank His Excellency Yoweri Kagota Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda, for the financial support he has given to the Archdiocese for this occasion. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your generous consideration. As the Central Organizing Committee, we could not do mass without your intervention. Thank you once again. Let us give a big applause again to His Excellency, the President. As we listened in the homily of the nuncio this morning, in the Catholic Church, when one is beatified or canonized, it is a declaration that the person practice heroic virtue and that the person live in fidelity to God's grace. This is according to the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Thanks to the heroic witness of charity of Father Dr. Blessed Joseph Ambrujoli, the component missionaries of the heart of Jesus Christ, let us give a big applause to him. As our Archbishop said, Blessed Joseph Ambrujoli is our intercessor now in heaven. When we go to go through him, for sure God will listen to our prayer. Lastly, I'd like to thank each and every one of you, the subcommittees. I'd like to thank you wholeheartedly for your dedicated commitment, which made this celebration a big success. Many of us, many of us were worried in the last one week how the weather would be. How the weather would be. You can see today that is a beautiful weather. And I think this is another miracle 
that Dr. the Blessed Ambrujoli has done. Choir and members of the COC, please, I ask you not to go away today. We shall pray tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning and sit and make the a review of how it has gone today. Then later on, we proceed to our destinations. Please don't go away without taking some water. Pia Maratie for today. And when that time comes, may God bless you abundantly and trouble with you through the powerful intercession of blessed Joseph Ambrujoli. Thank you. Thank you very much, Monsignor Matthew. I now have the honor to invite the Superior General of the Comboni Missionaries, fathers and brothers, to say a few words. Your Grace, Monsignor Luigi Bianco, Apostolic Nuncio, and Papal Delegate for the Beatification of Blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, Your Grace, Archbishop John Baptist Odama, Archbishop of Archdiocese of Gulu, Your Lordships, the Bishops present, priests and religious, honorable ministers and other government officials, religious leaders from other churches, and religious leaders of all faiths present here, and pilgrims from all over Uganda and from the different parts of the world who are present here with us. I speak on behalf of the Komboni missionaries, and I want to thank the Lord with you. We are grateful to God for this great day when our fellow Komboni missionary, Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli, is beatified. We thank the parishioners and the people of Kalongo for having helped, having welcomed the idea of having the beatification here in Kalongo where Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli served for years and where he rests among his people. We, the Comboni missionaries, are grateful that His Grace Archbishop John Baptist Odama and the local church in the Archdiocese of Gulu agreed to the idea and did the necessary steps to officialize the decision to have the beatification be done in Kalongo. We are grateful to the Archdiocese for all that has been done to make this historical event as colorful as it is. We thank the Vatican Dicastery for the cause of saints, for the work and discernment invested in the cause for the beatification of Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli. We commend the dedication of Father Arnaldo Barituzio, our postulator general, who worked day and night for many years so that Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli be beatified. I ask you to clap for our postulator general. We thank those who have helped him, in particular, the Archbishop of Gulu, the Vicar General, Monsignor Matthew Dong, the Archdiocesan Postulator of Gulu, Father Joseph Okumu, the Provincial Superior of uh, the Komboni Missionaries in Uganda, and also Father Cosimo de Iaco, who uh, lately came and helped, and the Parish Priest of uh, Kalongo, Father Ramon Vargas, and the whole community, and the Komboni Missionaries, and the sisters, little sisters of Mary Immaculate, and the parish council. We thank, we are grateful to the Komboni missionaries who are present here from different provinces. We have uh, Komboni missionaries who came from South Sudan with their provincial, from Germany with their provincial, from Egypt, Sudan with their provincial, from South Africa, the incoming provincial. We have uh, people from Congo, Komboni missionaries from Congo, and we have, of course, Komboni missionaries working here in Uganda. We are greatly indebted to Mr. Mrs. Giovanna Ambrosoli and the family of Blessed Ambrosoli and the Diocese of Como and the Friends of Kalongo from Italy, with whom we celebrate in communion of prayer. 
we can clap for them in their absence. Today is a special day for all of us in the Komboni family. It is a great day for the church in Uganda and particularly in the Archdiocese of Gulu, where many missionary and local bishops, priests, sisters, brothers, catechists, and lay ministers have served God and the people of God. We are celebrating the beatification of Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli in communion with the family, with uh, the local church of the Diocese of Como, its pastor, his eminence, Oscar Cardinal Cantoni, and the entire diocese. We have a lot to learn from Blessed Ambrosoli. We celebrate him today as a hero of Christian faith and missionary service. We Comboni missionaries and the whole church today promise to commit ourselves to learn something from the life of Blessed Joseph Ambrosoli and make it a reality of God's grace in our life. Once again, thank you to all of you and may the prayers of Blessed Ambrosoli help us all. Ofoyo Matek. Thank you. Let us now listen from the delegate of the Mother General represented here. Your Excellency, the President of, Uganda, of the Republic of Uganda, Erika Guta Museveni, Your Grace, Monsignor Luigi Bianco, Apostolic Nuncio of Uganda, of Uganda his Grace the John Baptist Odama, Archbishop of Gulu, my Lord Bishops, Monsignors, Most Reverend Father Tesfayeta Dese, Superior General of the Comboni Missionaries, Father Achilles Kiwanuka, Superior, Provincial Superior of Uganda Province, respectful representatives of the Uganda government, civil and political dignitaries, Dear confreres, sisters, lay people of the Combonian family, priests, religious, and all the people of God, felicitations felicitis, felicis, and greetings on these joyful occasions. I would have liked to be present in person to celebrate with you and together thank the Lord for the gift of Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli for the good love and healing the Lord has shared through his humble missionary priest and doctor, and for having made him a simple instrument of his love and care for humanity, for the people of Uganda in particular. Be sure that even if I am far, geographically speaking, I am present with you in spirit so are my counselor and all the Comboni missionary sisters. Yes, today is a day of deep joy for the church in Gulu and in all of Uganda as this son of Comboni, faithful servant of God, Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli, is honored by God through the church which recognizes in his humble service as priest and doctor, a life given over to God in dedicated service to his brothers and sisters. No doubt, St. Daniel Comboni is also rejoicing in heaven today as he recognizes one of his own sons who followed his path of making common cause and of living that total availability to others, we can hear echo in the life of Blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli of the life project of Comboni. Come day, come night, come sun, come rain, I shall always be ready to serve your needs, the rich and the poor, the healthy and the sick, the young and old, masters and servants will always have equal access to my heart. Your good, will, your good will be mine and your sorrows shall be mine. I make a common cause with each one of you. 
Father Giuseppe Ambrosoli, throughout his life, nourished and lived a deep love of Je for Jesus and his brothers and sisters, receiving from the Eucharistic presence the strength to assist and help the most fragile people. He was a man of welcome and generosity, rich in charity and love, with a strong and deep Christian mind and heart. He was for all those he met, the good news of the merciful God. May the joy and the happiness of this day be for the faithful of Uganda and for the Comboni family an opportunity to reflect and to renew our commitment to giving over our lives to the Lord in the joyful service of our brothers and sisters. May we all imitate his commitment to the people, his passion and generosity, his vision and courage, his sense of God. May blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli intercede for us and inspire us to put the mission of, at the heart of all we do. On behalf of my council and indeed of all this, my sisters, I assure you of our prayers for all of you here present, for your families and for Uganda that Father Ambrosoli loved so much. May God bless you, unite with you, Today and always, Sister Amari Quig, Superior General. Let's clap for the Superior General. Now we have two words from a priest speaking on behalf of the Diocese of Como, Don Bianchi. Monsignore Nunzio Apostolico, Monsignore Vescovi, mi permettete qualche parola in italiano. Però lo devo proprio dire, non sostituisco il mio vescovo cardinale Oscar Cantoni che non ha potuto venire perché in questi giorni sta uscendo il documento ufficiale dell'undicesimo sinodo diocesano. Ma quello che volevo dire è che Dall'inizio degli anni Ottanta io sono andato con vari volontari sempre in Caramogia e il beato Giuseppe Ambrosoli per radio mi diceva ma insomma vieni almeno una volta anche a Calongo e se trovo qualche, qualcuno che mi porta Vengo e non sono mai riuscito ad arrivare a Calongo, soltanto quest'anno, anche perché Monsignor Guzzetti, Monsignor Giuseppe di Cotido mi hanno sostenuto, sono venuto, ripeto, ad esaudire quella richiesta che il padre Ambrosoli mi faceva prima che morisse all'inizio degli anni Ottanta. Padre Ubero Cacchello Lorpa, Bishop Me Como, Bishop Me Diocese of Blessed Ambrosoli. Ma Enoguagioni, Bishop Peo Romobino, Pieneni, Tie Cacciaco, Sinod me apara ciel me dai se se ci dong eno ribowa uripe kwedwa kachel ilegaman. The representative of the Bishop of Como communicated to us that his bishop, even if he cannot substitute him, did not come because right now is preparing an official document for the 11th Synod of his diocese. And therefore, he has not been with us, but he has been praying to, together with us and has the great desire to come to Calon, where Blessed Ambrosoli has lived. 
Thank you, Father, for that message. Now, we are having a small exercise here. There will be gifts by the postulator and the component missionaries here. On this wonderful occasion of the beatification of Father Joseph Ambrosoli, as postulator of the cause of canonization, I would like to express a deep appreciation to the main celebrant, the Apostolic Nuncio, His Grace Luigi Bianco, to thank him for presiding over this memorable, memor memorable celebration today. I take the opportunity of requesting His Excellency to convey to the Holy Father, Pope Francis, our depths of gratitude for approving the process that led to the beatification here in Calongo of, Ble of Blessed Joseph, and for appointing His Nuncio in Uganda to of officially represent him and this solemn ceremony. I would also like to take the opportunity of expressing deep appreciation to the two Episcopal concelebrant to his left and his right. The right is Grace, the Archbishop of Guru, John Baptist Logama, and his Lordship, the Bishop of Sabino Odoki. As a token of my debt of gratitude, I would like to present the main concelebrants with two small boxes, one scarlet in color, containing a commemora commemorative medal of this event, the image of Blessed Joseph. On the front, the image uh, of the Ambrosoli Memorial Hospital in Calongo on the back. This one in the front, the other one in the back. And uh, the other white containing a relic exhaustibus a little of bond uh, over the new, newly beatified Joseph Ambrosoli. I would like to present a commemorative medal and a relic, relic of Blessed Joseph to Lucy Lomokol, the Karimojong mother, who was miraculously cured after the invocation of Father Ambrosoli.
where Lucy lay dying from septic shock. I would also like to acknowledge with deep gratitude the presence here today at His Excellency, the President of Uganda, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni Tibwana Buhua. <laughs> May God bless you, sir, and protect Uganda. I know that His Grace, the Apostolic Nuncio, will convey to the Holy Father the greetings of good wishes of His Excellency the President in Rome. I would further, further like to acknowledge with sincere gratitude the presence here today of the Superior General of the Combonis Missionaries, Father Tesfaye Gabrasilasi et Adesse. the Superior General of the Little Sisters of the Immaculate Mary of Gulu, Sister Grace Asiro. The Provincial of the Comboni Mission is in Uganda, Father Kiwanuka Kiles Kazosi. The Provincial of the Comboni Sisters in Uganda, Sister Luigina Frison. The Vicar General of Archdiocese of Gulu, Monsignor Matthew Odon. and the parish priest of Calongo, Father Ramon Alberto Vargas. Again, a token of appreciation, I would like to present with a commemorative medal and the relic of Blessed Joseph to representatives of the parish community of Calongo. representatives of the medical staff of the hospital. Representatives of the hospital. <laughs> if they not, I know they are very busy all over. Two representatives of the school for midwifery. The school of the midwifery. Yes. Good. At the end, the postulator of the cause of canonization of the former Bishop of the Diocese of the Guru, Monsignor Angelo Negri, Father Joseph Okumu.
You clap for Father Kubu, our postulator in the diocese. And Father Cosimo de Iaco, who has played a cru Not here, okay. I finished. My, my blessed Joseph Ambrosoli, protect these our brothers and sisters in position of authority, all their communities, and all of us present here on this grace, the feast in his honor. Amen. Amen. May I take this opportunity to inform you of the following gifts to be presented to the following people. First, to His Holiness the Pope. Second, to the Nuncio, the family of Dr. Ambrosoli, Bishop of Como, the Home Diocese of the Blessed, Superior General of the Comboni Fathers, and sisters, brothers, Dr. Ambrosoli Foundation, Italian Ambassador to Uganda, the President of the Republic of Uganda, and Honorable Lucia Kelo, Guru Archdiocese, Dr. Ambrosoli Memorial Hospital, Kalo, and the Chairman, Centralizing Committee. On that note, therefore, may I request the Gifts Committee to draw nearer to where the Archbishop is, and then you can accompany him together with the postulator to take the gifts to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda. Kiyo Kadoro, Kit Memio Mitch, Gitye Kawat Kachel Kiladit Archbishop, Ki Postulator, Matika Konyawa. Wafoya Tutuan, Wafoya Teach. Now, His Excellency, the President is being given a gift by the postulator and the Archbishop and the Superior Generals of Comboni, missionaries, fathers and brothers and sisters. Now they are posing here for a photo. So it's also presented a portrait of Blessed Giuseppe Ambrosoli. Now, he is holding it and admiring it.
omulirizo mulungi oli kushenda mu nyaka tonyeze nya fama radio sapiensia enkuluze ya magezi ekusawa zino omusanvu ne dachikana mu nya tuchali mu speeches tuli kalong president yo weleka kuta mseveni yatu sedda nyakati aweledwa ebirabo okuva mu bakulu bekereze ya katolika nga mu bademu abakomboni bategese ebirabo bibamuwadde kubanga koze kinene nnyo kusukula kulaba anti ateka wo sente zikoze mu kologuno na yante nembere sokoze seza kologuno nyereza kona okulaba anti blessed ambrose holy asobola okulangirirwa no mukolo guno kolewa radio sapiens ya nkuruza ya magezi saba sumba wasaza kuru elie gulu ye wawuli debi gambo bie mubi gambo bia tuwa de ya sabye fena tuwele wa mu tusabenga tuitamu ambroso likati guanga livemu ebola ni covid ate tusabili na ukraine olotalo rio vewo ye Mbako wa papa mko igiri za kwe Ya gami nti Aba kugu Aba hivyo bulamu batu wale chokula vila kuu Cha ambrosoli Kupanga ya limusawe ye wayo Ya veda uku janja babalala Ya tu kiri za Obu kristu Oba evangeli Nga ye yolekela Mwewe vyo na Bia kule la bantu Nga janja ba Ekalong Awali edua lilo Dia tandi kawo, atene tende kwa katiri diwo, ida ida basawo, ingeli begin the rubio na kwe kula banga, kula mbwa bantu, kuko mbwa. Kati, tu genda kufuna, saba somba, John Baptist Odama. To invite His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, who has honored us in attending this very historic event. Your Excellency, I request you to address your people. His Excellency, the the people Nuncio. La Wang Papa Madid Matikan Nuncio. His Grace the Archbishop Baptist Odama. La Did Archbishop John Baptist Odama. All the other bishops. Bishop Mukana the Wang Matikan Tin. His Lordship the Chief Justice. Uh, and all the ministers and uh, members of parliament and, uh, and the one I introduce you. <laughs> ministers, remember me parliament, Kedong Darum Wang, the Christo Wang. Is my assurance correct? Nileba Chulene Tikakare. Namanisha Nyin Wote. What water? Ni daru weng tika wunyang. Apo yorubanga. I thank God. I am here to represent the government. Empty kind macharu la wangamente. On the day of the beatification of Dr. Ambrosiori. Ini ano miwiru. Dr. Wamadid, Dr. Ambrosoli. I want to thank His Holiness the Pope and the Church for recognizing the meritorious work, the special work of Dr. Ambrosoli. 
Nipo opitit ma beso ma doktor Mbruzole otio. The we the Africans have been here for four and a half million years since creation. Four and a half million years. Million and Million and when. Million and when kinuchu. For you. Now we had our beliefs all that time. One no what ye ki ye o ma megwa chake we karano. The external religions. Ento dini muwa ki wogo. Started coming around 1840. That's when the first Muslim people came. And then the Church Mission Society, uh, Protestants, came 1877. Protest and then the Father Rodel came here in 1879. Then Father Rodel came here in 1879. Therefore, the Christian religion has been here for about 140 or 50 years. Christianity don't beach. And the Christian religion Christ Of course it also had bad people who were hypocrites. No Like those who took slaves and so on. But in the majority, it had a good message and good workers. And the good message was is summarized in the two commandments. Love God with all your heart and with all your might. Malo ba kichunyu weng kitibu ni weng kikeru ni weng. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. So the message is excellent. The message of Christianity is excellent. Love God. And overcome selfishness. Now it also has had good workers. Like, for instance, Dr. Ambrosoli. He spent a lot of time here. I have started reading what he was doing here. I was not aware before. And he healing people. And also preaching the word of God. And he was in a, a remote place. And uh, he left comfort of his country, Italy. He was a qualified doctor. He could have worked there. But he came to work here. And there are other examples. So therefore, we salute the contribution of such wonderful workers. Now, and we, we, we thank the church, we thank His Holiness the Pope for beatifying uh, Dr. Ambrosieri. And we thank Papa Matera Dada, uh, Dr. Ambrosoli. I know this is an important step to the to the to the sainthood. And then step me a gitchidong chera chera wai 
a dar uma lei. Now, we, then we, we are all, many of us here are Christians. Now, in the Bible, it says, let your light so shine before men. That they see your good deeds. And praise your Father in heaven. In other words, you influence people by a good example. And in another portion of the Bible, it says, We shall know them by their fruits. Not just what they say, but what they do. Now, we as Christians and other believers like the Muslims, we must overcome poverty, among other things. And I appeal to you, all of you, there, to get up and get, work to get, to get out of poverty. And that you are one wing, but you can't be a little bit And the NRM government has launched a campaign which you must have heard about. Of stopping. Teach me each keken. To make me joko working for stomach only. Uh, that teach me each keken is not a good idea. That working for stomach only po bero idea mabe. It is uh, idea machon. It is ubero whole ideas. We want idea manyen. They want a new idea. The, the idea manyen is teach me each, but also teach me in saho the with the pocket. The new idea is you work for stomach and also for something in the pocket. Gimoi jeba. So that we get out of poverty. Wekwa ao kitchen. And we have guided you that if you have got a small piece of land. There are seven activities you can do which will give you good money even if you are on a, working on a small piece of land. It first of all, have a plan of four acres. Acre one, if you can grow coffee, if coffee can grow, you grow coffee. Some parts of northern Uganda can grow coffee. Areas like Zombo, like Arua, like even parts of Guru can grow coffee, even parts of Lira can grow coffee. So, Eka Achel, you grow coffee. Eka Achel, pet moanye. Eka Ario, you grow fruits. Eka Mina Mario, pet nyik yem. The fruits which can grow are mangoes, oranges, and pineapples. Those can grow quickly. A nyik yem manyako yoro, doctor yoro, opero chalo na nasigi, ma yembegi, ma sungwagi. Now, Eka number three. You grow pasture for the young may chak. Uh, the third acres, you can grow uh peto loom mano diang chamo chid chak chak gidon katiwa. Uh-huh. So that you have got a few cows in the in the shed. Kado take him uh dear man knock, may take a guaco. The government will assist you to get those cows if you are if you are you, you are interested. Then eka, this is eka adek, eka angwen, you, 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 you do charm, you, you do 
food crop like cassava for instance the fourth acres you can grow cassava iromo pieto guana then in the backyard do it gang we recommend you 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 have chicken for eggs ne dong mier wa pet guana ma bolo toy these eggs are needed not only in Uganda but in other parts of the world then if you are not Muslims you can also look after pigs now finally if you are near the water bodies like near Lake Choga in the in the in the valley of the river nile uh, even other streams in, in, in the interior you do fish farming because we, we can help you dig uh, uh, using the government machinery to, to do fish ponds. Now, these seven are the medicine for the people with small piece of land. We call this, we call this intensive agriculture where you use a small area to get high value. But then there's also extensive agriculture where you can use, those who have got more land can do other, can do what we are saying here, but also do other things. For instance, we have been working with Archbishop Odama on the issue of cassava. I have not done the chura to know how much you get per acre per annum for the acre of cassava. But you heard I was recommending the cassava within the seven because you need food in your home. But cassava can also be grown as a commercial crop. Depending on the chura. On the on, on the calculation. If you can get good money from one acre in a year, then it goes into the intensive agriculture. If not, in the extensive agriculture. Then you have got other crops like maize, like cotton, like uh, sugar cane, uh, those need to be done on a big scale. Big or medium scale. Ten, ten acres, 100 acres or more. So, the, and the government is also going to help you with irrigation. So this business of the drought and so on should not affect us again. Now, with that massive involvement in commercial agriculture by everybody, all the households, will create, create a lot of production which needs to be sold within Uganda but also in the region and internationally. And to be processed. 
Benen wa rawo meddo value ne in factories i factory ma pat pat now once the homesteaders have money kate ka dong do ga ci la ci tiki ci ante they have food ma dong ki tiki gina ci ama the churches will will be will be prosperous kan kan ni sa nyo ki li ci ado be loñ because because the christians will give more support pian dong no lu christo dong gen mi o ci ante ma do ngi ki li ci the homesteaders of course will be better off ci dong no ga e be beru ma be and the government will get more taxes gamete be do be no mo choro ma do so this is the appeal i want to make on this occasion mane lok man amiro ta ma ta mo ne waji ni am dip chalo man dr ambrozo ambrozori sacrificed so much so far from home in the area he was qualified in in the area of medicine a doctor ambrozoli o jale ma terre da da ma bora da da ki pajo in area me doctor and we are here celebrating him wando ti kañ ka fone ka kwere how can we fail to to look after our own families wano ti ko porometi mo mi ko ñu do gang wani ni because here i'm not saying you go to itare and become a missionary no 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 i'm simply saying chase poverty from your home en petit am wajini ci et way itale ka de bet missionnaire ko no en to ci wajini ti ma tek riem ci no ki gang maka megi if dr ambrosiri by example could go so far away from home and and work so hard how about us just working in our compound here ka dong dr ambrosiri wor ma bora da da ki gang gi biru ti ma tek da da ci dong wan ko no ma ti ki ot maka meg wa ngay wa i read that when dr ambrosiri was here of course there was a rebellion here ene wonyo ni kar mano dr ambrosoli ti kany no luen ti kany and then he moved to to lira ene wa ki kany ci ro lira that's where he died from and, a natural cause ene do da ki kuno sorry ene do to ki kuno ki tuo that there was some confusion between the 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 the, the hospital and the army ne no ruba ruba mono ti kin ot ya ki lu moy i think this was just lack of coordination ma eno ne o be recouper ma rach because if we had been told we would have handled this although there was a rebellion it could be could be could have been handled uh, uh, much better kano ke ni a eno chon no kono ene ti ko lokko ko because i was in touch with cardinal subuga eno ti ki ka ka coupe ke la dit moñ ma ke lone subuga and other uh, priests like father lafram of bukaramuri eno ki jo mo kene chalo father ke so th- 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 that confusion is very much regretted it was not necessary ruba ruba ne no no peti no mi reporti me no mi reporti ne bene so i thank all of you for coming in big numbers and for you un weng ma terra da da me bien wel ma dit ki tane and for inviting me ki bene me luongo en me bien yop ma dit ki tane ruba nga bless you lu ba mi ru ba mi ro ko mi no gum thank you very much foi ma terra dada ah uh, your excellency we have his highness rot unen david achana the second with us the dit rot wa foi bino ma terra dada The people of Agago they have sent me a message here that they love you so much and they want to see you in ballot paper 2026 this is the paper i have here with me wa foy ma terra dada nasno ante mi na reverse order
so much, Your Excellency. The church is requesting for a group photo with the clergyman and the representative of the family members of Dr. Ambrosoli. The bishops may remain up there. His Excellency is coming up here. The president leaves the arena. We request the congregants, the celebrants, to remain where you are, except those who are going to be part of the exit procession. Please. Wanego luar. Maladil lo botika a Juan Kong Waberi ni kwanyo jo magyo bi kwanyo me kwanyo lo dirwa eni me karo dir mago tere wa ilega wa poye wo wa poye winyo no Juan
Watieki National Identicat Ario Kan Amido Evelyn Kachelke Aumakete Max Timbe Mantir Tirimamigi Mapira Tep Mau Karakare National Identicat Mo Amido Evelyn Kachelke Aumakete Max Birigamo what is the phone? What is Pongwa, me pire pire, majaj tikan. If you lost your keys, please kindly come and pick it up. Otherwise, you will fail right back home. All our dignitaries. I invited to Alamo Midway Fair School of Nursing for a lunch. All our members of parliament, the cabinet ministers, and the, the, the religious. The priest, all of you are invited to lunch at School of Mekwifri, Kalao. Where you take your life from? Boom, boom, boom.